this is listen the struggle is so real right now <laughs> if you haven't already like subscribe comment do all the things in order for this information to be shared across the youtube verse and the interweb hello you bet so joiner here this video has been one that was requested a while ago and seeing my calendar was so packed i am finally able to get to it and i figured today was the best opportunity to go ahead and get that done so i have to shout out at my hubby is louis vuitton 4218 for this video this is my five most used bags now this request was made a long time ago but i figure now is a good time because now i'm using more than one bag so let's get into it as you can see i have all the bags lined up so i'm going to start with my most used bag which would be my saint laurent cape bag and I love this bag because it is a belt bag, but I also use it as a crossbody because I'm able to pop it on like so and just go. This is, listen, the struggle is so real right now. <laughs> and this strap is removable and there have been times when I've taken it off and just popped this into another bag and used it as a pouch. So on the inside you have card slots and then there's another slit there and then you have another zip that provides some space but there's not really much you can put in there. I don't use anything but except for the um, card slots and there are one, two, three, four in here. Um, when I'm ready to just go, this is what I take. This I use almost every day uh, when I'm not carrying one of the other bags that I'll be listing. My next bag that I've been carrying as of lately is my Picatin 18. And I've been carrying this bag since I got it before our trip to France. And it made the list because while I was in France, of course, it was my main bag outside of my Kelly um, 32, which is next. I took this one to carry primarily and it worked out fabulous. This bag is amazing. I'm not going to unlock it because I'm just not, but it's just one big pocket and i know people have inserts that um they use i don't use an insert what i use ultimately is my pouches so um everything fits in there nice and neatly and if i want to be more inconspicuous when it comes to the fact that i don't want people to know that it's hermes i will carry it with the lock facing me but it is pretty discreet when it comes to carrying it and not having too much on it that people who don't really know the brand would know that it's Hermes. Next is my Cellier 32 in box leather. I love this bag. This is my all time favorite bag. Um, it is vintage. I did get this on a pre-love market. I wanted to at least have a vintage piece. Um, because yeah the story and the history behind the bag and this one did so well in France I really truly believe it's because of this bag um, I was carrying it when I was in Hermes before I made, got my offer I believe that this bag is the reason why I was offered a Birkin so it's just one big pocket and of course there's a zip and another set of pockets right here i don't like to call these pockets because they're more like to me they're like slits you can't really put much in there unless you want them to lose their shape so this is my third most used bag okay i'm gonna stop for a second and say apparently i am having an hermes year because this would not this is not the norm for me so i'm really excited at the fact that i have this many bags and that all of them that i'm carrying is hermes that is pretty impressive because it is it what it 
actually it's all started this year um so i'm excited about yeah how far i've come in this process so next is my birkin 30. this bag as you all will know if you have not seen the video check it out when i went to paris and was offered this bag the entire journey is right there on my youtube page but this is my birkin 30 pocket here there is also a side zip and yeah typically i have my insert that i use for this when i'm carrying it but this has been my really everyday bag so if i'm going somewhere that's not the grocery store things like that but i'm going out for lunch or coffee or you know to to just you know stroll and i'm dressed up this is what i carry this is basically like my every everyday bag for real now when i'm just running out to the grocery store this is what i take because it's just convenient when i'm running errands this is my errands bag that's the way I'll put it. This is more so my everyday, everyday bag. So I carry this when I'm going to meet someone for coffee or if I'm having, if I have a meeting or things of that nature. This is when this bag is incredibly useful, especially because I could put everything I need in here and not have to worry about it. Now, my newest bag, which I have only carried, I think at this point twice is my Birkin 25 in Quadro. So it's a canvas like material and then it has leather bits and pieces and the corners and so on and so forth. It is so amazing. It's basically the same as the Birkin 30 on the inside with the zip and the side um, slit. But uh, yeah, this is another bag that I'm carrying more regularly. So if I'm going somewhere as a special occasion, this is what I turn to. That is the gist of the top five bags that I'm carrying as of lately. I wish I could say there's more, um, but there's actually not. There's pretty much it's less because I, on a regular basis within a week, let's say in, a, in an average week, I will carry my Saint Laurent Kate um, belt bag and one of my Birkins, which is typically the gold Birkin because it's more convenient for me as far as, you know, just tossing things in and going and not having to pare down as far as going with the 25. And also because this is a canvas material, I want to preserve it. So it's more so for special occasions than anything else. My Picketson, I still do carry, um, especially when, you know, the weather is not up to par when it comes to the Birkins, I will definitely carry my pickets in. And I will tell you that bag has worked for me. It has worked numerous times. Like I said, when I was in France, I used that bag several times and it worked out perfectly. And I'm just excited. But yeah, this is interesting. I mean, I'm sitting here talking to you and as I'm talking to you, I've just realized like, I started out with this vintage Kelly 32 and then this year I was offered this um, Picketson 18 and thereafter boom boom. I mean it has been a great year but all that aside that is what I'm carrying as of lately and if it changes I'll do another video and at my hubby is Louis Vuitton. 4218 thank you so much for the request and yeah that's it and thank you for joining me i hope you enjoy and until next time